You think you know what a sorority girl is? Think again. Think again. Think, 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 think. It's been so many false representations, especially now, of what Greek life is. Like for example, like what what's the sister one called? Sisterhood, whatever it is. Sorority sisters. People seek out ratchetness. People seek out um, destruction in, in, in black community destruction for some reason. And even if it's not directly about Greek life, but and somebody acting a complete fool, but she's a Delta, but she's a Zeta, then it, it makes it that much harder. Because it's a, a very big stereotype that Greeks don't get along, that we just, everybody beefs and clashes and does all that, but it's, it's a lot of Greek unity. It's not as much as it should be, you know, but it's growing. Because there's a lot of people that's putting forth effort to build it. I mean, it's television, so I mean, people shouldn't take it that deep, but at the same time, it is our representation. So if I watch it, and I feel like I was misrepresented, I'm gonna have a problem. So we have to be mindful as a collective, whether you're Greek or not, that you know there are certain things that we need to talk about and be honest about them and portray the truth, all of it. What's going on everybody? This is Jared Henderson, creator of the Beyond This Place Project. And you'll have to excuse my dress. I came in and uh, threw on a hoodie and wanted to get out to the lab late night because I wanted to record this video blog before the premiere of VH1 Sorority Sisters. There's a lot of protests and there was a, a petition that was signed earlier this year and made its way around the internet. And last week we found out that VH1 didn't care about any of that and decided to go ahead and proceed with the show. Uh, originally, it was executive produced by Mona Scott Young. Her name has since been removed from the show as executive producer, but I'm not sure entirely what that means uh, as we've seen the trailer for the show kind of mimic the one that existed several months ago. And so it was really on my heart to get out here and kind of make this video today. And I wanted to start by showing members of various sororities um, that I recorded out in Detroit when I was out working and shooting for a Relay for Life event. And um, I'm glad those sisters all shared their perspective about uh, this show. And I think it's going to mimic and reflect a lot of the conversations that are being had right now on social media. And so I just wanted to kind of share a few of my thoughts and then also talk about this idea of how do you combat these representations. Um, one of the dangers with they show like sorority sisters that I think is being articulated all across social media is this idea of the danger of representation. Uh, what does this mean for us having this show come out? And as members of Divine Nine organizations, I think we have to ask ourselves, uh, not only what does this mean to have this thrust into the pool of content that represents us, but also um, how are we supporting alternative narratives that need to combat the ones that are being showcased and thrust into the spotlight by um, organizations such as VH1. One of the best solutions I think came from my brother Lawrence Ross, who's a member of Alpha Phi Alpha. I had to shout him out for this idea. And what he said was to watch the show. Yeah, watch the show. But what you're not looking for is the show itself. What you're trying to pay attention to are the various sponsors who have paid really good money to be in that prime time slot for advertising. And his suggestion was that you go straight to Twitter and Facebook and you at those companies and you write them messages about why you will no longer patronize their businesses because of their support of the sorority sister show. Brilliant. We want to trend these people for all the wrong reasons. So hashtag boycott sorority sisters, hashtag boycott whatever product or service is being represented at the time. So why support this strategy? And I think for me, it's the main reason why I wanted to come and record this so late tonight, because um, for me, it's not really about the show. Uh, it's about the message. I mean, this might ultimately be one of the best things that's ever happened to sisterhood of black Greek letter organizations ever. I mean, who knows? Um, I highly doubt it, uh, but for me, it's about the message. I'm from St. Louis, Missouri. I grew up just north of Ferguson and Florissant. I see a lot of my friends and family on TV all across the nation protesting the unjust killing. And for me, that's what this is about. It's about the thousands of members who have been flooding the streets in New York and LA and Detroit and everywhere around this country who are protesting the unjust killings of people of color in our communities. 
leaders. It's about supporting these organizations so that they can continue to uplift and offer solutions for our communities who are going through the most right now. It's about honoring you. <laughs> Yes, you, the person that's watching this video who is a worthy member of a Divine Nine organization or a worthy community member who is fruitful and producing meaningful work in your communities every day. It's about honoring you. It's about offering an elevated conversation about these organizations in the 21st century. It's not about who's wearing or who's not wearing letters. It's about talking about the roles of these organizations in the 21st century and how we can start to offer more solutions about the things that plague us. And again, let's not lose focus on that because ultimately the thing that unites every person who wears three letters across their chest is brotherhood, sisterhood, scholarship, service, community. That's it. If we can't do anything about it, if we can't voice our own opinion and tell people how we feel and they respond to that favorably, VH1, then let's move on trying to create some other things, some other stories. Let's tell our stories the way we want to tell them. And uh, I think that's what it really comes down to. Um, in our next video blog, I'll be talking to Mercedes Fulbright. Mercedes made headlines all across the country as the girl with the Delta hoodie um, whose photo showed up on the Dallas Morning News. And I think that's so offensive that these articles and AP and other people are mentioning uh, her like that. She has a name. Well, I had a chance to talk to Mercedes about her experience in being detained and um, what she thinks about all of this uh, controversy about wearing your letters versus not wearing your letters while protesting. But anyway, tune in next time for that. Um, check out Sorority Sisters or don't check it out. Um, if you want, if you don't want to check it out and you still want to participate in that strategy, you can follow me at Jared Tweets uh, or at Beyond This Place and you can retweet my tweets. That way you don't have to participate in the viewership, but you can definitely um, get the message out there to these corporate sponsors that we are not happy with the representation of our women on these shows. And we're definitely not happy about the representation of our beloved organizations on these shows. That's all I got. It's late. I'm gonna edit this and go to sleep and hopefully get it online before you guys check out the show tomorrow. As always, let's continue to build and let's continue to grow. Peace. It's, it's almost like they don't respect us anymore because they see a movie like that and they say, oh, that's what Greek life is. And it's really so much more to it. And it hurts my heart because I'm like, I work for my letters. And I'm still working for my letters.